Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for the 20th through the 26th of August. Um, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and typically my readings revolve around love, so keep that in mind. Um, and if this re reading feels right, if it feels like it's your reading, then it is. If it feels like it's not, then it's not, okay? So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the 20th through the 26th of August. Timing is fluid. What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? <laughs> Not an easy task. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Definitely not an easy task. By any means. Okay, so let's get another one. What else does Taurus need to know? Go with the flow? Just let it happen? Oh, there it is. Oh, Scorpio got the same card. I just did Scorpio and they got the same card. It just came out and I, I think you might have saw it flip. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. You know, you could be dealing with a Scorpio as well, since they just, you know, they just got that card as well. Um, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance if you could just allow. Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? Your new beginning is on the horizon. One phase of your life has ended. It's done. It's over. You have stepped over the finish line. It's time to begin again. A brand new beginning. A new long-term phase. A new long-term project or chapter or whatever it is is about to start for you. You've ended something. There's been a major completion on your, in your life. Major. Congratulations. Now you have a, a major new beginning. You've learned a lesson. You've learned something big with that world card. Now you have a new, a major new beginning. That's major. Okay, that's why I keep saying major. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'll try not to make too many noises, but you know how I am. There's an opportunity for love. Is there a beginning, a new beginning in love when you just ended a contract? You cut the cord? You cut the cord? So now there's a new beginning in love because you stopped playing a game? You stopped juggling? Interesting. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Yeah. So fate has stepped in. Fate has stepped in. They've given you some clarity. They've brought you some truth, which has allowed you to use the sword to cut the cord. Oh my God. That's exactly what this is. This is the sword that cuts the cord. And I said that before this even came out. And now you have a you have a new beginning in love looking at you. Could be with a Scorpio. Could be with a fire sign as well. But I feel as though you have to be confident. You have to be courageous with this. Keep your head up high. I think you're probably looking very attractive at this time. I feel like things have been a little chaotic. You may be going through a lot right now because I think that you're, you're, you are, maybe you are, you know, you need to make a decision for one thing. You're indecisive about what you really want. I think that you know you've, you've ended something, but I think you have a little bit too much on your plate. That's what this is, a little too much on your plate, and I would agree with that statement. Um, I feel as though, you know, you guys are still remaining stable and secure, okay? You guys are really focused on, on keeping things under control. Yeah, yeah, you are. You're trying to, you really are. You are definitely trying to keep things under control. I think at that right now you may be a little conflicted and needing to step outside of your comfort zone in some arena of your life. 
you may be mentally trapped in, in something, but maybe accepting this offer of love. Because I think there's been some sort of faded event that has brought you a new opportunity and you're probably really scared of it. <laughs> That's what I see. I think you may be scared of this new opportunity. Scared of commitment at this point. <laughs> Let me get this focused in. But you have received clarity. You have. You've received some truth that you needed because fate stepped in. Fate stepped in and, and gave you a sign that it was time to cut the cord to end this chapter in your life. That is what ha has happened here. So because you took the lead and have cut this cord, there's a new beginning. There's a new offer of love. But I don't think you know what to do with that offer of love. I don't. I think that, you know, right now, you don't know what to do with the offer. Okay? I think that you're a little, you may be a little discontent with, with, um, stepping outside of your comfort zone. You may be a little uneasy with, you know, allowing yourself to just go with the flow. Okay? That's what it is. It's like, ah, you know. Pretty safe right here. I am. I'm pretty safe right here. Uh, yeah, but somebody is coming in. They're coming after you hard and heavy. Yes, they are. Somebody is, is rushing right into your life. Lickety split. Somebody may even be coming back. Okay, this could be a reconciliation. Because the Ace of Cups can be a reconciliation. Not for all. Not for all. Okay. I feel, I mean, some, this could be, you know, the wheel of fortune reversed underneath the world card reversed with this knight of swords. This is, this is fast movement. Somebody is headed towards you. Like there's no tomorrow. They may not want you to complete this cycle. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Somebody is headed in your direction, but it's like they're trying to, somebody is trying to stop something. It's the end of a difficult time. You know, you've done a lot of healing. You're, you're on the mend. That's why your new chapter is starting. But somebody could be coming back. Oh, jeez. King of Cups reverse. Somebody doesn't have good intentions here. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I don't know. We have Gemini up here. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is... Uh, man or a woman that is closed off, detached, withdrawn. This, but this is in the past. Thank God, because the past, present, future. There's somebody, I think, that has really, that's why you're uncomfortable. That's why you're uncomfortable with this love. You may be stalling. Even though you've cut the cord, you're stalling the wheel from spinning. Even though somebody is, is trying to push that wheel. They are. Somebody's trying to push that wheel. You know, this is the end of a dead-end situation. Scorpio got this as well, in reverse. So, I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio or whatnot, but I feel as though there is an opportunity for... This could be a revival. You know, and it's maybe something you've been waiting for. It looks like you are receiving some sort of message or 
somebody is taking action after probably going really, really slow for quite some time. Now there's an opportunity for abundance, stability, security. This is a this is a like a happily ever after card that has a lot of solid potential to it. I think you're receiving a solid, stable offer that could lead to something long term. But you're probably like, oh, I don't know. I'm not so sure about this. I'm not sure that I can, that I'm stable. <laughs> you may be feeling a little insecure about this other person's intentions. Interesting. Yeah, there's some temptation here. You are very tempted. I think there's a lot of... Uh, Attraction. There's a magnetic attraction between you and another person. Um, it could be a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be, well, I see Scorpio all over the place. Pisces, Cancer. Le uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel as though there's an opportunity here to... Whew. Face your fears. Face your fears. You have to face your fears here. You know, I think that you are being faced with a, a serious temptation to, to start an, a new love, a new love relationship. But this past is, even though, you know, you've cut the cord. You have. I see that you've cut the cord. But I think that you cut the cord and then... Maybe once the cord is cut, somebody comes rushing back. Oh, that would, no, please don't. I'm good. Somebody, this is a card of ego, the five of swords. Somebody has, has a huge ego here. And they may want a new beginning, but there's no beginning. There's no growth in that new beginning. Now we have these three aces. It's funny that I picked aces for this, for the, whatever it is, thumbnail. I feel as though, you know, there's, there's a lot of, wow. There's a lot of conflict. I think you're very conflicted. You are very, very conflicted as to what to do. I do see a new chapter starting that could lead to something solid in long term because there's a contract that has ended or it is ending. Maybe you're going to cut the cord this week. I don't know. I've cut my cord. Okay. So I don't know about the rest of you. My cord is cut, done, cannot be mended. Okay. Cannot be. It cannot be mended. So I don't know about you. But I feel as though there's an opportunity for love if you could have confidence in it. And that's why this stay optimistic about your love life is, is here. You have to be confident in love. But somebody's pride has been hurt because they were probably, they were rejected. Anyway, I feel as though... Yeah, see, somebody is, is really stopping the whole progress, stopping the whole process, stopping the, the love from growing. Oh, jeez, I'm crow. It's like, I'm afraid of commitment. I'm afraid of commitment. Mm. There's definitely some distraction here. I think that you are distracted perhaps by lust, okay? Because this is lust and this is the distraction. This is lust as well. So I, th and, and here this, this woman is interested in everything but love and reversed. So I feel as though, but there's love here. So I think that there's been a time or you're going through a period where you have closed yourself off to love. You have. 
I don't want love. I'm just going to go out and play. I'm going to go out and play. Right. Whatever. Whatever that means to you. And some of you will say, no, no, I don't do that. That's fine. Then you don't do that. That's reading ain't for you. But there, now there's an opportunity for love. Because you're abundant. Because you know who you are. Because you know what you're worth. You're taking care of business on your own. You're enjoying life as it is. You're the pick of the litter. You have a lot to offer. <laughs> Don't you though? You absolutely do have a lot to offer. But it feels as though you may... Not, now we have all four aces. All four aces. It's funny that I picked that. You may feel like the time isn't now. Or the time, you know... I'm, I'm really afraid to get involved with a solid, a solid commitment here. I'm not sure that I can take this to the bank. I'm not sure that this is going to lead to anything long term. But that world for card is a, is a new beginning where you've learned a big lesson. You've ended a contract, the first two cards, and now you're becoming alive again. You've done a lot of healing. You've mended. You've, it's the end of a difficult time. So now there's some temptation you know you're you're out and you're becoming alive again and now all of a sudden it's like love is here and you're like oh shit so you see yeah, somebody wants to you to give them a chance that's what this is somebody wants you to give them a chance on love but you might be happy on your own You're doing well anyway on your own. But there's a chance for victory and success here. But you're afraid. You're afraid to be lied to. You're afraid to be cheated. There's some sneaky, sneaky, sneakiness going on here. Somebody is like getting away with something. And that's what you're afraid of. Yeah, you're reluctant. You're reluctant to, to throw yourself in the mix because you don't want to be a part of no competition. And, you know, this whoever this person, you know, may, that you're involved with, they, they may see you having competition. You know what I mean? There's a competition going on. Somebody wants to make progress with you. They want you to give them a chance, but you got, you're biting off more than you can chew. You've got too many irons in the fire. But, you know, this event, whatever it was with the tower card and the star card, is a true blessing. It is. It's a gift from above with all these aces. It's something you've manifested with all these aces. You have manifested a new love. And now you're being blessed with the opportunity, but you're scared to take it. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment with somebody that will put in the equal effort. And it could lead to something solid in long term. It's really a time of wish fulfillment. But you're indecisive. Fear of fear of change. Fear of giving up your independence. So I feel like this is a week where you have an offer of love. But your fears of uh, 
allowing your whole life to change is keeping you trapped. It's keeping you trapped. You have an opportunity to open your heart, and this is closing off your heart. Open your heart, open your heart, open your heart. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Don't block it. Wherever that two of swords came right down with it. Don't block it. Don't block it. That's This is a blockage upright. Don't block it. There's an opportunity for love. Stay optimistic about your love life. So, yeah, that's what I have, Taurus, for this week. I think there's an opportunity that you should allow it to unfold. This could be a it's, a, it's a blessing. It is. It's a blessing. It's a gift from above. It's something you manifested. It really is. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that it is probably a... It could be any sign, so I'm not even going to say it. But it could lead to a lot of abundance, okay? It could. But you're trying to control it. You're trying to control, you know. You're trying to control not getting your heart broken again. Good luck. Let it happen. Just let it happen. Let go. Stay optimistic, please. Talk to you later.